For those of you who don't know us yet, we are Carol and Ken, and we like touring in our little red camper, tiny Nissan MV200, built by Sussex Camper Vans. We offer tips and tricks for how to survive in such a tiny van, and also try and demonstrate just how easy it is to wild camp. So we off to you? Going to the bungalow, which is a viewpoint on the TT race course oh, near okay. the Snowfell Summit. So we had a lovely walk around the wheel. We did. A bit hot and sticky now, isn't it? Very uh, muggy. Very yeah. muggy. Yeah. So we're going to find a place to park up and relax for the rest of the day now. Nice cup of tea. Let's go. In the last episode, we left you whilst having a little bit of trouble with a hairpin bend. And this is where it happened, up this little track here on the right-hand side. Hill. It's steep and narrow, but the little red camper is made for roads like this. These hills are very steep. Glad it's you driving, not me. Now normally you'd give way to vehicles coming up the hill, but here that's just impossible. And I have to inch forward in order to make room for the van to, to go ahead. Carol calls the hairpin, but we don't allow for the lag in order for the map to catch up. That's correct. No. It's not the right hairpin, and I'm already committed up a gravel track. Sorry, misread the map. I've got no choice but to reverse back out onto that steep, narrow road. And on my right hand side, there's a severe drop off. The right hand side of the van is grounding on the road surface and making a horrible grunching noise. We're grounding. We're gro I'm going to be. We'll I'm go back. Go Can back you go down. back down? It doesn't it's seem it's possible to reverse to back down the road so we can continue upwards. So I'm going to have to go back down the road. I don't know if there's something coming. Do you want me to me. get out and have a look? Well, he stopped then, so I don't know why. As I begin to move forwards, it seems to me that I might be able to do a three-point turn here in this street. But I'm not sure if the van will have enough grip. But luckily, all the weight will now be on the front wheels as we're pointing down. I don't know if it's got the oomph to do this. Reverse gear is always lower than first, and luckily we are able to reverse back up the hill. And we can now drive forwards and continue up the hill. There's a couple of kids here on the left that obviously heard all the reversing. Some of these roads are most uh, narrower and steeper than what we were finding in North Wales, aren't they? Yes, definitely. That one we've just come up. We 
had a quick look under the van, but it seems like we got away with it. At the top of the hill is a very nice parking area where people can walk in the forest. It's a little bit slopey, but here we encountered the first ever no camping sign. No overnight parking. Continue for one first one we've seen. We decided to obey the sign and move on. famous Craig Nibar pub. We turned right onto the mountain road, the A18, which is part of the TT course. Here on the right is a place called Windy Corner and we pulled in to see if there was going to be anywhere to park for the night. Initially I parked the van on this side of the wall next to the main road. Let's go here, shall we? This will do us right. Windy Corner. Windy Corner. Head east. Nope, we're not heading east. We're here for a bit now. He wants to stop here. After I park up, I always assess where I've put the van. And on reflection, this was a really bad place to park because of that bend and all the fast cars and motorcycles taking advantage of such a great road. The answer was to go through the cattle grid and park on the other side on a bit of waste ground. Right, we could just relax here now, can't we, Charlie? Plan. Got this lovely view out the right hand side. Well, my plan is we sleep here tonight, but we'll just gauge it as time goes by. Yes. And it's obviously a very small road, isn't it? Well, down that way. None where it's signposted to a town, so. On the map, it shows the track connecting to another main road, but all the time we were here, we never saw another vehicle using it. Carol immediately set about cooking our evening meal, whilst I watched the sun shining on nearby hills. One minute they were in golden light, and the next they were shrouded in cloud. After a quick sort out of the cupboard, the kettle was on. All the camera equipment was getting a much needed charge and the solar panel is really working well now. The gas supply is also lasting a very long time. We're only using it for cooking and washing really. We're now in relaxation mode, aren't we Charlie? You've got a nice bit of cake there, haven't you? I should point out she's not having all of that. We're just that's half and half and I'm just waiting to share the plate, aren't I? Because mm. we don't like washing up. Mm -hmm. Got a lovely view of the mountains covered in clouds. Yeah. Mm. Flop time. You've got to have a flop. Nice and peaceful here when there's no traffic. Till the motorbikes go roaring past. Well, it is the TT course. Mm. So you've got to let them have their fun. It's fun to watch them. Yeah. A couple of people passed us. This chap walking his dog. 
and this guy riding a mountain bike, which I failed to get in focus. Barney's just said she's got a little treat. You might want a little appetizer, or you can have it as part of your main meal. We'll see. We'll see, won't we? I don't even know what it is. Let's see what's going to fall out of the fridge first. <laughs> Nothing this time. That's mm. pretty good. So it's salad tonight, folks. Onwards with the more healthier options. Uh, well, perhaps not when it's gala pie. <laughs> but it's blooming tasty. Oh, look at this. This is all looks very nice. Um, I say let's have it with the salad. All on the plate. All on the plate. It's easier, isn't it? I'll just dish it all up. Yeah, dish it all up. Mmm, I love gala pie. It's better than a pork pie, I think. Because it's got egg in it. Yeah. And not as much, not too much pastry on them, I think. Now this looks beautiful. Uh, what are these things then? Yeah. They're salted broad beans. Salted broad beans. Mm. Got some olives, some sun-dried tomatoes. Um, coleslaw, potato salad, and gala pie. And a little bit of mozzarella in with the sun dried tomato. Beautiful, thank you, Charlie. This is delicious. And peppers. Thank you. Is delicious. It salt or is it salty enough? No, well, I'm, salty. I haven't put any on mine. The, um, these are nice, aren't they? Mm. Broad beans, never had them like that before, have you? Salted broad beans? No. Yeah, delish. This is all lovely. We're in the clouds now, Bunny. Yeah. I think we'll pull this roof down in a minute. Yeah. Because it's getting quite chilly, I think. Well, it's the draft coming in through the flaps. Yeah. Because the windows mm. aren't open. No. So it's a bit grim out here tonight, <clears throat> but I think we'll be all right here. I'm going to put the roof down in a second, get cosy. Hello, Chutney, you all right in here? Yeah, nice and warm. Yeah, and okay. Cozy. It's uh, obviously been wet out there, isn't it? Yeah. All it's done. Quieter. Yeah, it's cosy when the roof's down. No problems. Mm. Someone driving at breakneck speed, it's right in the mist. You can't see your hand in front of your face out there at the moment. Yeah. Wonder if they get that weather when they're actually doing the racing. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Whether they stop it or not, no idea. Okay, that's better, isn't it? Yep. Good. Now we get the bed down and we watch some YouTube and stuff. Need to sort of draw it on the map, don't we, yeah. so that we can follow it. So they go clockwise. So it's A1, mm -hmm. A3, A18. Mm -hmm. That's the snow fell bit. Yeah. And then A for that bit, that's the, mm. that's, the, that's the A2, yeah. Yeah, well, we'll do a full circuit at least, don't we? Yeah, it's on stage. It's a nice day. Drive it as a continuous drive. Yeah. You know, and then you'll appreciate the entire course. Yeah. So, so we're just reading because we haven't really got signal, have we, Charlie? No. One minute it's there, one minute it's gone. It's the worst part about DVDs, isn't it? All the you're a yeah. thief rubbish. All the disclaimers. Yeah. At last. It sounds awful, but it's nice and cosy in the little red camper.
We survived the night. Seven forty-nine. That was a blowy night, wasn't it? Are you dead? <laughs> I slept really well, actually. Let's have a look outside. Uh, we didn't have any windows open last night, so everything's uh, misted up. But it's raining and it's blowing a hooli. So we'll see what we're doing today then, won't we? Yeah, it'll clear up later. Yeah, well, yeah, later on tonight, I think it's supposed to be clear. Tonight? Yeah, I think we got rain all, all day. day. Yeah. Right. So uh, we'll find something to do, won't we? Yeah, maybe go back to that museum. Yeah, okay. All right then, up you get. Right, we're all ready to carry on with our journey. I've got the demister on and the engine running. Uh, that's on a full blast at the moment. And that's helping to clear all the condensation because we had the roof down and the windows closed last night. They call this place Windy Corner. I've no idea why. Right, we ready to move? Yeah, let's get going. Okay, what are we doing with the pan, Chutney? Alright then, okay. Oh, it's pretty nasty out here. Just oh, spin this seat. This was quite a nice little spot last night. I mean, it's very exposed and the van was rocking. Um, but we quite like a bit of a storm and we didn't hear uh, a single vehicle go past and all we saw was a couple of walkers so it's a good spot so be really careful of your door when this you're getting in no that one's fine because it doesn't get caught yeah. but this passenger door yeah. will be ripped out of your hand if you're not careful it's grim out there Bike. Oh, it's Stop there. oh, a motorbike. Yeah. All oh, right. Oh yeah. Oh, grim. Grim. Okay, so the plan is this morning we're going to go back to Laxley, where we know there's uh, public toilets, uh, sort ourselves out there, yeah. and um, have, have some, some coffee, breakfast. have some breakfast. See if they do any, or we've got makings for our own. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. All our lights on. And you've cried your Bye, Windy Corner. I assume this hut is to do with the TT race. Just below those eyes that tell me you're yeah, we'll okay. left here. It's written on your That way goes up to the summit of Snaefell. Yeah, we'll do that on a clear day. We'll do that another day. Well, we'll probably go up on the tram one day. Sky. With this is only a matter You can only get better You can only get better And this is only a matter You can only get better You can only get better structure isn't there connected with the race yes yeah we'll have to come back and experience a race oh yeah definitely yeah It'll be very good fun so 
So this is the same road we drove up last evening. And we're going to take a right down here, down a road we haven't been down yet. Because we don't want to go back down that one we came up. No, we, not down um, Nightmare Hill. We'll have to come back here with Stu, I think, and do that hill. <laughs> <laughs> He'd enjoy that one. These uh, tall pines, they look good. They're spindly, aren't they? Yeah, quite a few broken down as well, aren't they? But they get a good battering from well, the wind. Well, the here. wind, I should think. Yeah. There was a good view of Douglas yeah. from this point, so I pulled in to see if I could get a shot. Shame about that house because it's right in the, right in the view, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. Still get a shot. Can you zoom in past it? Zoom and see. Oh. Right, let's go and get a shot. Not as good as I hoped for in the end, but I did see a horse crossing its legs. This lay bay looks like another good place to spend the night. Maybe a bit windswept, but excellent views. They've even got picnic tables and bins here. I like the way this horse was standing until it saw me. Right, we go left here. The roads on uh, the Isle of Man are really quiet. You very rarely see other traffic. Still looking a bit grey over there, isn't it? Yeah, you can see that's where we were last night, up in the mountains. Looks very grim. It's not been much of a summer so far. The flag is flying well today, look. Here we are again. Now, some people might think it's a little bit weird going back to the same place you were at the day before. But really all we want to do is make use of the toilets down here and have something to eat. A lot quieter than yesterday. Yeah. The place is not open yet. Well, it's a Sunday today, so uh, maybe they might, they might not, not be open, open at all. No. Oh, this place looks open, look. Paddle boarding in the sea. Yeah. This camper's still here from the day before. Mm, let's come in here. There was a time when I didn't think I would bother with these ramps as we weren't using them very much. But as we do more and more camping, I use them more and more. off using the loos and then the cafe looks open so hopefully we'll be able to get a couple of um, sausage and bacon rolls that'd be tasty we're going to leave this vlog here folks if you enjoyed the video please give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures on the isle of man in the little red camper <laughs>